My research is in maternal health, basically aiming at uh, looking at um, confidential inquiries into maternal death, using the maternal death surveillance to see how we can improve maternal health outcomes in our setting. Mulago Hospital is a national referral hospital. We are targeting at making it a center of excellence, learning from the stories of the women who have died and see how we can use that information to improve care. And if you improve the care of a mother, there is a way you also tend to impact on the outcome of the newborn of that woman. So, and basically, when you improve care of a woman, you are impacting the, um, the, the economic issues at family level, even at national level. And uh, basically how it is going, um, I have this great lady who is a mentor from Cambridge. They supported me all the way through when applying for the Thrive2 application, supported by the Wellcome Trust through Cambridge and uh, Cambridge Africa. So far we are in the initial stages. Um, here in Cambridge, I've been around, this is my sixth week, to touch base with my mentor and also another lady, Professor Ashley Moffe. They've been guiding me through to see how we put this together and I've had a chance to visit the hospital where she works at Rossi to see what happens in case there is a critical incident. Death are rare in this part of the world, but when there are critical incidences like morbidity, to learn from them what happens, what are the structures that have been in, put in place. And through their guidance and connections, they've also enabled me to visit Oxford at the Embrace, which works on the confidential inquiries in this country. It's an internationally recognized press, the mothers and babies reducing risk through audits and confidential inquiry. I've had a chance of interacting with that team too, through the collaboration with this great team of mine. And the discussions I've had in there will greatly inform looking at the contextual issues of what can be applied in our setting to see how we can work together and make progress as far as the research project is concerned. And I hope the lessons learned will greatly inform what we are going to do to make the process of maternal death surveillance more better and is likely to impact better outcomes in our setting. Cambridge Africa is just the most amazing opportunity to make links with um, people working in places that we would never have a chance to make this link independently. Um, it's been amazing to meet Imelda and her team from Malago and it's a privilege to share our skills and to learn from each other. We are at the beginning of a hopefully a very long journey to improve maternal death rates in Uganda and to set up a robust confidential inquiry process there. Today's event is extremely useful because it's given us an opportunity to learn from the great potential Cambridge Africa has. There have been very good presentations. We've seen what has happened from a conversation at one stage into a very strong partnership in Ghana where they've really progressed in the science world, laboratories which are also helping the networks both in Cambridge and in Africa. So basically it is helping the health, improving health issues to reduce on the gap of health disparities between the high income and the low income countries, which I think is very good. And on the aspect of what is happening in Uganda, again, Cambridge Africa, this partnership, this interaction, there is a way it has really helped in terms of building capacity back home in leadership in health and also service delivery in a number of areas which we cannot discuss in just a few minutes over here. I think we, the future for us is to keep on going, to keep on working and to keep on sharing our knowledge because it benefits both of us in both our settings mm -hmm. and we've had an amazing time doing it and we're so thankful to the Cambridge Africa programme for the opportunity that it's given both of us.